We are just 27 days away from Election Day, but hundreds of people have already turned in their mail in ballots. In fact, the Bear County Elections Department is seeing an average of 500 people a day hand deliver their ballots. And a big turnout is expected for early voting next week. Some seniors and people who are mobility impaired still planning to go the traditional route and vote in person. What can they expect? Jesse Degogato says those voters do have options, but a Bear County commissioner had wanted more. The AT&T Center, one of 284 voting centers on Election Day, that'll have curbside voting for people who can't walk or stand for very long. So it works the same way as if you were interfacing with the election machine inside. It's just a smaller um, screen. But they must call the elections office in advance. Delays, he predicts, are possible. That was part of the reason we were pushing for a, a drive through option period, right? But it was ruled out for voters like these due to the risk of exposure with election workers having to reach inside vehicles. But yet they're going to be able to do curbside. Right, exactly, yeah. The elections office being the only drop-off location, voters already are having to stand in line to return mail-in ballots. Well, I thought this would be easier, but it didn't turn out that way. It's kind of hectic down here. The governor mandated only one per county for those that have election offices with branch locations. Even before then, Rodriguez had pushed for more drop-off sites, but with no luck. It's why Elections Administrator Jackie Kellanen is strongly urging those who can to vote early or vote by mail. You know, it's really at this point in, in, uh, in her hands and her team's hands, and, you know, we're, we're, we're giving them the support they need. So hopefully they'll run smooth. Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News.